Become a vampire in Minecraft using the Minecraft Origins mod. This is also a similar vampire origin to the one used by Scott Major in the Afterlife SMP. It's as close as to identical as you can get as it roughly matches the exact same abilities aside from very little little details that are slightly different. This origin is created by It's Your Boy from the Origins Discord server as you can see on screen you can find it within this server. This will also require the Evil Weapons mod as well in order to work with this one. Let's get into the abilities of the origin itself. Starting off with your first ability, you have the Blood Thirsty. With a bottle in your off hand and a dagger in your main hand, you can collect blood by attacking mobs. Drinking your blood will actually regenerate your blood bar, and you can use your blood bar to regenerate any form of health that you will lose in, let's say, fights or when dealing with other mobs. Overall, very useful ability for some self-reliant healing. A weird quirk to this ability, though, is it works on skeletons, which I'm 90% sure that skeletons don't have blood that you can take from them with a dagger, but I digress with that one. Moving into our next ability, we've got the Blood Dash. A dash ability that is more powerful during the night time. Basically, there's two variations of this dash. One dash you'll have in the daytime ability effects, and one dash you'll have whilst at night time. And as the descriptor says, the dash in night time is more powerful than what you would have in the daytime. But don't get me wrong though, the daytime dash is still very useful if you want to get out of any full potential sticky situations, especially when you're fighting other players. Whilst using this ability in the daytime, you'll go roughly around 5 blocks in front of you, but while using this ability at night time, you'll go roughly around 30. There is a very drastic difference between how useful it is throughout the day and how useful it is at night, but it's still a pretty useful ability in the daytime regardless, as a 5 block jump boost is still pretty useful in the first place. Moving on to our next ability though, you've got used to the darkness. During the night time, you'll get permanent buffs from the moon, but on the other hand, during the daytime, you'll become weaker whilst exposed to the sun. Another bit of a thing to keep in mind with this ability is it also means you will take damage whilst underneath the sun, kind of similar to how most mobs take fire damage in the daytime. The debuffs you gain throughout the daytime are debuffs to do with a bit of mining fatigue as well as slowness too. These are non-ticking buffs meaning the moment that you get out of the sun after a 3 second countdown you will get those removed regardless of how long you spend whilst out in the daytime. Your nighttime abilities is a massive speed boost of 3 and a jump boost of 2, meaning that with the use of your dashing ability, you can become extraordinarily fast at night time, allowing you to get out of any form of situation that you might find yourself into with your extreme speed. Moving on, we've got our first disadvantage when it comes to this origin, and that is scared of wood. Wooden weapons will deal much more damage towards you than your regular weapons typically will. This does count for both swords, axes, pickaxes, shovels, any form of wooden based tool used against you will do much more damage than what it would usually do. In the case of when the zombie's holding a wooden sword, the zombie's default damage is roughly one and a half hearts in total damage, whilst the zombie with a wooden sword will do three and a half hearts in total damage to you when you have no armor. Meaning that wooden swords and wooden tools will become far more deadly against you, roughly in an equivalence to potentially stone, maybe even iron tools, depending on what weapon they have and if it's a player using them or not. Moving into our next ability though, we've got Photophobic. You take damage whilst exposed to the sun. I don't know why this wasn't mixed in with the ability from before where you get get bonuses from the night time but disadvantages from the night time. This is technically a disadvantage from the daytime, but whatever, we'll go with it. Next up, we have our secondary ability known as Switch. Using your secondary ability key, you can choose a nearby entity that you'll be able to switch with. Sneaking and then right clicking will then execute the teleport action. First off, point of clarification, it's not actually right click as it says in the description, it is just holding shift and pressing your secondary ability key again will activate the switch. Secondly, you can tell who you're going to switch with based upon the little enderman based particles that will be floating around said mob, which becomes painstakingly obvious if you look at the certain mob for a small amount of time you can see it, as well as the distance is a pretty lengthy distance, probably the equivalent of your nighttime dash. Just allowing you to potentially get out of any form of maybe sticky situation or just bringing a certain person right back to your location if they're trying to escape from you, you can put them into a trap or many other really cool and interesting ideas that you could potentially do with that. But let's say you can use the ability and select the target of another player that you want to get and you jump into a spike trap or jump into some lava as you press the shift and your ability key to swap places and they'll fall into the lava whilst you'll be perfectly fine. One thing to keep in mind with this ability though is it will select the closest mob or person to you but you can walk away at near indefinite amount of distance as I moved around 60 blocks away from a chicken and it still did the teleportation swap. Moving to your next ability you've got acrobatics. You'll never take fall damage no matter 
matter what height you fall from. Basically, you're immune to fall damage, which is pretty damn useful, especially when you've got a dash that could send you to space if you're not careful when using it. Either way, make sure to subscribe as I've got the half wither found as well, and I'll be making a video on that origin in the next few days. But until then, click this video on screen now to check out a different origin, the Illusioner origin. Until next time, guys, bye bye.